So a lot of people had questions uh, about filtering uh, with a syringe filter. And again, as last time, we are using a PES style filter. It is 0.22 microns, which should get uh, most of the bacteria that would potentially be found in a lyophilized vial. Um, and this is a four millimeter filter housing, which are, is a pretty small one. Um, but what happens to the peptides? We, our last experiment, we used um, some activated charcoal and mixed it in with distilled water. And we made a black solution turn clear again. So what we want to do this time is use some red food dye, which is molecularly about the same size or in the same neighborhood of the same size as a peptide. So we're going to put that red food dye in some distilled water and mix that. And we end up with a pinkish purple very clear liquid as you can see you can just see right through it to the print now what i'm going to do is add some cornstarch and this is going to be acting as our bacteria this time we'll let us see things a little bit better so I'll mix that really good Now you can see, you cannot see through it at all. It's totally opaque. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just draw some of this up and put it here so you can see it. Um, you can't read the newsprint underneath there at all. So now, what I'm going to do is put the filter on. So what that represents, this blob that you can't see through is peptide contaminated with, um, with bacteria. Now I'm going to draw that up. I'm going to get a full three milliliters of the cloudy stuff. And I'll put the filter on here. And now let's see what we get. Yeah, that's working perfect. As you can see, we are getting all the cloudiness out and it is crystal clear again. I will say the cornstarch does make it tough to push through that filter. It clogs it up pretty quickly. The activated carbon was not that bad, but it will go, but it definitely takes some effort. But that's an indication of the way these filters work. Well, yeah, you can see it actually, before it even got to the filter, clogged that end up. That's why we're having such a hard time.